powerhouse 70s band Chicago and Earth, Wind & Fire have collectively sold more than 200 million albums worldwide and have 20 Grammy nominations between them and they're joining forces for a tour this summer. It's almost, it's like mind blown. It's so much music. Uh, gentlemen, good morning to you. We see you there on the screen, Philip Bailey and Verdine White from Earth, Wind and Fire and Robert Lamb and Lee Lochnane from Chicago. Uh, so the big question on everybody's mind right now with this show in Detroit, are we gonna see all you guys, the whole shebang on stage together, just blowing them out, just, just, just cranking up the uh, amps to 11? That we is correct. We're, we're going to, both bands open up the show. So when you get your tickets and you come to the show, get there early because both bands are the opening act. <laughs> and, then, and, then, and then each band plays our own separate sets and then we join each other again for the encore, uh, like long extended encore. That is so cool because I think what music is missing these days is that big, big sound that we know and love that can only come from an extended rhythm section and, and the, and the uh, brass. I mean, that was really the hallmark. I mean, you guys, you know, Chicago, hey, hey, right, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, the nice thing about it is uh, between both bands is a lot of songs, uh, a lot of hit records, uh, and the combination of both bands together is very exciting. And once you see it, you, uh, uh, you're you really hooked on it. Hey, uh, Philip Bailey, we played the song earlier in the show this morning. It's one of my favorites. Uh, do you guys ever do Easy Lover? <laughs> <laughs> I, I think another interviewer asked that question. We have so many songs between the two of us that... Um, we can barely squeeze in as many songs as people want to hear in, in the length of time that we have, so we don't get a chance to do Easy Lover. Oh, okay, well, we'll forgive you. You know, like you said, the catalog is so huge for both bands, you know, the solo effort might uh, <laughs> be right. down on the list a little bit. Um, talk to me about a song, you know, like, like when you, you jam, like a live version of a song will often, uh, you know, be, become a showcase for the individual uh, talents on stage. A song like uh, Runaway, which was really just a riff on, on the back end of another hit. Do you, what song do you take the occasion to actually let some individuals shine? Well, 20, uh, 20, uh, 2564 is, is one of the songs right. where that the, the man is really cooking up there and uh, where everything seems to be opened up at its widest. It's, uh, so it's, it's very, very exciting. You know, I got to say... Uh, yeah, all the different guitar players... I'm sorry. All the different guitar players play uh, a couple choruses each during the solo. I have to tell you that uh, there's certain songs that I think are done better by other artists. Like I, I like Get Ready by uh, Rare Earth instead of The Temps. I like um, Gladys Knight's version of Grapevine better than Marvin Gaye's. I think uh, Earth, Wind & Fire's version of Got To Get You Into My Life is better than the Beatles version. What do you guys think? Well, it was for, it was for the film uh, and we just did it Earth, Wind & Fire style. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the, the finger snaps. Okay, uh, when you think about uh, sharing the stage, um, you know, it's such a, it's, you know, the two bands together, so many members, how do you uh, work that out so everybody, uh, there's no ego clashing, everybody's got everybody else's backs. I mean, that's, that can't be an easy logistical thing to solve. Well, here, uh, well, Philip organizes us, he gets us all straightened up, and then we get a chance to do our choreography, and, uh, and then it works well, you know, Surprisingly, it works very smooth. How do you think the audiences have changed over the years, if at all? Well, well the, with our audiences, they get bigger and bigger, and, and it's a multi-generational uh, 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 audience that comes to see us. Okay, anybody else? Same question? Gents, oh, Mr. Still there? Mr. We're, we're listening to the music. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got distracted music. by Thank yourself. You. <laughs> so, uh, run down some of the big hits that uh, the, the fans are going to see when they come, when you guys come to Detroit and take to the stage. Well, you're going to see this. The, you're going to hear the songs that put us on the map, uh, basically. And and we've been saying there's what 63 songs between us that uh, uh, everyone is familiar with. So. By the time you leave, you will know that you heard a, a, a fun show. Exactly. All right, we can't wait the, uh, for that show to hit the stage at DTE August 26th. The show tickets are on sale right now. Members of Chicago and Earth, Wind & Fire, uh, indeed a pleasure to speak with you this morning. Have a great day, gents. 
Good. Thank you. Thank you. Great to speak with you.